NASA has performed a high altitude test of new technology it hopes will allow it to land a large spacecraft on Mars. But as Tarek Basley explains, the $150 million experimental flight wasn't entirely successful. Getting a spacecraft to an alien world is one thing, but when it arrives, travelling at more than 16,000 kilometres an hour, you'll need to slow it down. A difficult job if the planet's atmosphere is thin like that on Mars. If we want to land humans on Mars someday, we get to much, much, much larger payloads and we'll need much larger decelerators to slow them down. NASA used a huge parachute, rocket thrusters and a crane to land its Curiosity rover on the Martian surface two years ago. Technology, the same it's used for almost 40 years, is considered to be at its limits. Balloon is launched, balloon is launched. That's why it's testing a new airbag brake and parachute high in the sky above Hawaii. A rocket will be firing to launch it even higher to about 60 kilometers altitude, which is the edge of the stratosphere. We are now in an atmosphere which is similar to the atmosphere of, uh, of uh, Mars. Then they are going to test this uh, inflatable Kevlar structure and they're going to test the parachute at very high speeds and very low density air. NASA reported their airbag brake, being tested here on the ground, opened and performed as planned high in the Earth's thin atmosphere. Not so a massive 33 metre wide parachute, the largest NASA has ever tested. It failed to open properly. If we want to land bigger things, bigger, more capable rovers that can drive further, we need new technologies to do that. And it's not just for the science that we have, but also for the long-term vision of eventually being able to put humans and people on the surface of Mars. Copy that. NASA plans three more similar tests over the next year and hopes to have the technology ready for its next Mars rover mission planned for 2020. Tarek Vasley, Al Jazeera.